The last thing before we go here tonight, 19 years before the birth of Colin Kaepernick and 50 years ago today, two brave young American athletes engaged in a singular act of protest. It has lived on since as one of the most iconic images in sports of the modern era. The year was 1968, and in America it was tumultuous and violent. Assassinations took from us a Kennedy and a King. The Vietnam War was the defining issue, while issues of race and poverty led to riots and flames in American city streets. Against that backdrop, two American runners finished first and third in the 200-meter sprint at the Olympic Games in Mexico City. Tommy Smith and John Carlos then decided to take a stand and make a very bold statement. They removed their shoes on the medal stand to symbolize poverty, and they wore beads to symbolize the scourge of lynchings, and to symbolize the black power movement, they chose to raise their fists, and they bowed their heads during the national anthem. One right fist, one left, because one of them forgot to bring their pair of black gloves, so they split a pair. Booze rained down upon the men. They were forced from the games. They were ostracized by some of their fellow athletes and by sports organizers. Both men went on to have brief NFL careers and later struggled with financial difficulties as a result of their actions. A footnote, the Australian guy on the medal stand who finished second was criticized for doing his part to back them up because he chose to wear the badge of the Olympic Project for Human Rights which the two protesting Americans were a part of. Well, these days, Smith is 74, Carlos is 73. The debate has shifted from raised fist to taking a knee. Now there's a museum devoted to the scourge of lynching in this country. Poverty remains a wrenching problem, of course, and the protest this time was led by a man who had a brief but spectacular NFL career who has the public support of one of the biggest brand names on the planet 50 years after the gesture seen around the world. That is our broadcast for a Tuesday night. Thank you so very much for being here with us, and good night from NBC News headquarters here in New York.